Welcome to another Silhouette Studio 101. Today we're going to talk about how to auto trace. So first you're going to want to open up your Silhouette Studio software. So now that you've opened up the software, we're going to go through step by step on how to auto trace. There's three different types of auto trace. There's the trace all, the trace outer edge, and the trace and detach. So if you'll just go to Google, this is one of the easiest ways to find an image to trace. I'm just going to type in clip art rows and find an image that I like. Once you find an image that you like, you can save it to your desktop or a file within your computer, and then you're ready to trace that image. Okay, so I'm going to save this image into my computer. So I'm going to open my Silhouette Studio software. If you just go to File, you can go to Open, and then you can add your image from whatever file you saved it in. Now if you go to the top right corner, you're going to find the trace function. You open that up and it's going to give you these different options down the right hand side and you want to select your trace area. Okay so right now we're going to select the trace area. We're just going to highlight the, the rose image and you'll see these yellow lines pop up. This is where it's going to cut. Now on the right hand side here you'll see some different selections you can make. We're going to uncheck the high pass filter and the low pass filter and only use the threshold. You can see as I go back and forth it changes those yellow lines. You just want to set those yellow lines to the image that you want to cut. So here we have it right here. This is the basic trace and cut feature. So I'm just going to click the trace and it'll go through and it'll automatically set the cut lines to wherever those yellow lines were. So you can see here we have a pretty detailed image for the trace feature on this simple rose. So now let's talk about tracing just the outer edge, our second function here. We're going to just highlight the rows again and unclick those high and low pass filters and use our threshold. Here you can see that you can click the trace outer edge feature and you'll see the difference between the trace outer edge and the regular trace feature. So you can see now that we have just the cutting lines around the outer edge. Okay, this brings us to our third and final trace feature, which is the trace and detach. So we're going to highlight it again, uncheck the high and low pass filters. We're going to play with our threshold here, and then we're just going to click the trace and detach. Now this feature will take just a minute, but it's actually going to detach the image from the background. So you can see that I pull away the background here. This is a really good feature for photos and different projects you might be doing when you want to cut out a picture. So just to quickly go back and show you the three different types. Here is our first trace. This is just our regular trace image where it traced all the lines in that flower. Give you a pretty good detailed image and you can pull in all sorts of different images and do this. On the right here we have the trace the outer edge image which as you can tell is just the outside line of whatever image you traced. And then our third is going to be the trace and detach which I just showed you. This actually takes the image out of the background so that you can manipulate it in many different ways. Thanks again for watching another Silhouette Studio 101 class. You can check out our website at silhouetteamerica.com for new products and other exciting features. Thanks.